Okay, here we go. We're rolling. All Wait, right. What? We're rolling. You're on camera. We're we're going. Okay, okay, tell me tell me what's your full name and the day you were born and the year you were born. Sorius Henry Hadrasha Henry Hadrasha in Holland means head of the house, which I've never been. And I uh, was born in May the 22nd, 1899. Okay. And let's see, you married Grandma. What was her full name? And what year did you get married? Do you remember? Oh, I don't. You'll have to ask her. You don't remember? Well, you've been married how many years about? 63. 63 years? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know how many grandchildren you have? No, I don't, but I got plenty of them. <laughs> you don't know how many you have? No. Sure you do. Think about it. How many did Shirley have? Four. Yeah. And how many did Pete have? Four. No, three. <laughs> Damon. Damon and Kim and Tina and Brad. No, Brad's on our side. Brad's Shirley's kid. <laughs> Shirley had Brad, Jeff, Julie, and Becky. Yeah, that's right. So you have seven. Okay, now let's see. You were telling me, what, what are some of the greatest inventions that you've seen in your lifetime? The electric light. The uh, automatic pump to bring and uh, later it would end. Uh, uh, the radio and the TV? Radio and TV. Yeah. You were telling me the other day that uh, you were one of the first families to have radio on your block? Yeah, in, in the whole town. Yeah? Did people used to come over to listen to it? Uh, it was called KWK and it was put out by the Post-Dispatch paper in St. Louis. And they came out to us. In those days for an aerial, we had one 300 feet long and six strands on it. And uh, it went from an elm tree that was 60 feet high down to a grape orchard that was 20 feet high. And at the end of the grape orchard was an outside toilet. We didn't have inside toilets then. So you saw the first inside toilets then too? At the World's Fair, and it wasn't in 1904, but most people didn't get them until about 1915 to 1925. Do you remember, remember the first time you had one? Yes, I remember the girls all took a bath in it, and uh, they liked it very much, but we also had what was called a pot or a chamber. They sat on the pot before they went in the bathtub, and they sat on it afterwards. How about that? Now, you, we talked about your grandkids. Now you have two great-grandkids. I got one great-great-grandkid. No, you don't. No, great, I... You got two great-grandkids, Scotty and, uh, and Brett. I don't know. Okay. No, because, see, in order for you to have great-great, Scotty or Brett would have to have a kid. Not necessarily. We, how old is Scotty? Is he? He's almost two. Almost two. He's got a ways to go. I think you're going to have to live another 18 or 20 years. Where is he? <laughs> He's screaming over at the door. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Okay, this is one of your great grandkids. This is Brett William. Yes. What do you think of him so far? I think he's very fine, but he's afraid of shoes. He is afraid of shoes, but since you and Nani have helped him wear shoes, 
I want you to know that he'll always know that he learned to wear shoes in Florida while he was visiting you. <laughs> what do you think of that, Brett? Brett, what do you think? All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Brett, look up. That's your great-grandpa. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of your great-grandpa? I think he's a nut. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. We all think he's a nut. No, he's a good nut. <laughs> oh, that's, you know, that's something I wanted you to do. Was you have some of your famous laughs. Give us a couple of your laughs. <laughs> Come on, what about your belly laugh? How does that go? I don't have a belly laugh. You want to see him? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, come here. I don't even have a belly. How about your tizzy? Don't you have a tizzy? A uh, wasn't it? Your tizzy laugh? Well, I got a... I couldn't find it. Uh, somebody sent me a kidney on one of my birthdays. A kidney? Uh, yes, I love your kidney. So you don't remember all your laughs? No. Well, I thought the one you just did was pretty good. How about hee-haw? Yeah, do you have that? Hee-haw! 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 <laughs> now show us your teeth again. Hmm? Show us your teeth. That's pretty good. You've been doing that for a long time. Can't you... You know what else I remember now? When you take your teeth out, can't you swallow your nose? That's pretty good. Now, how old are you? You're 91? 92. 92. 90, 91 and 8 months. 91 and 8 months. How old, how old are you going to live to be, do you think? Are you going to make it to 100? No, I'll be lucky to live to 95. Why do you say that? Well... Well, if you keep riding your bicycle, you'll do fine. Everything... Everything is getting a little worse. My right foot hurts from arthritis. My left foot, I have, sometimes I have to wear one large shoe and one small shoe, and my wife likes to have a fit. Hmm. And the reason I have, can't have a foot over 12 inches long, No one knows. Over I wouldn't be normal. Because you'd have three feet. I'd have more than two feet. <laughs> That's true. What um, What is the name of your dad and your mom? My dad? Yeah. My mother's name was Eugenia Josephina. And my father's name was Henry William or... Had Drescher. He was supposed to be out of the house, too. It was Henry William. What? Henry H. William. W. Van Dam, yeah. How about that? Did you know that Brett's middle name was William? Did he have a... No. Brett's middle name is William. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many brothers and sisters did you have? One sister. And her name? Helen. H-E-L-Y-N. Okay. And that was it? Just one sister? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What businesses did you used to be in? I used to be in five different businesses. I was always a member of two different businesses all my life. When I I was with International Shoe Company in St. Louis for 47 years. I worked in the office and I used to write in, in the, I was in the billing department and I corrected all the mistakes and took it back and showed them to the girl that made them. There were 20 people in the billing department. And um, at the same time, I was told I should buy some IBM stock, which I didn't do, but which went up from 34 up to 300 and something. And I had a uncle 
My father's brother was named Herman Herodius Van Dam, H-E-R-O-T-I-U-S, and uh, he was one of the first Bunker Hill men, and he was head of the, I don't remember what bank it was. You worked at the bank then? He owned it. Did you work there? Yeah, he worked there. No, did you work there? No, I never worked at the bank. Okay, so you were in the shoe business, and what else? Were you in the farming at all? In the farming? Yeah, did you ever farm? Uh, our, our, where we lived, we had 60 acres. And we had three cows and two horses and a colt and four pigs and about 10 ducks and I don't know how many chickens. But I found out that roosters could lay eggs. They could? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to tell us how? If the rooster roosted on a roost, he was a rooster. And if the hen perched on a perch, he was a percher. But if the hen got to bed earlier than him and he perched on a perch, then he was a percher and perchers laid eggs. Oh, I get it. 